Uh, welcome to Rax Infotech, guys. We are going to conduct this demo session to elaborate and explain uh, the course index and the course duration. What are all the topics we are going to cover? And also, I'll uh, take a questions from you guys. Uh, if you have any queries related to the course or uh, any other things, job opportunities, all of them. Okay, I'll uh, take this uh, opportunity, like question and questions and all. End of the session, mostly 15 to 20 minutes, I can uh, explain all those details, course related details, and then I'll take a questions. Okay, warm welcome, and let's get jump to our uh, demo session. So from Racks Infotech, coming to our background of Rack Infotech, uh, we started the last year officially as Racks Infotech. Uh, before uh, uh, last year, uh, we used to take like individually without naming, like directly I used to take online trainings one-on-one. -on -one, and also I used to go for some institutes here and there in Bangalore and uh, Hyderabad locations also. Directly I'm going to train them. I cannot say more than uh, like thousands of people. I can say like I, till now I had given more than 200 people. I have trained in Oracle DBA with Rack and also mostly my experience on Oracle DBA with Rack and application DBA, Oracle Apps DBA. And coming to uh, my experience, uh, I'm having around 10 years of experience in IT, complete uh, experience into Oracle DBA, uh, Rack and uh, Oracle application DBA with OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Also having uh, more than five years experience into uh, Golden Gate and also cloud experience I have. Middleware as well, uh, middleware components like uh, e-business suit with um, OCI. I have an exp uh, experience on that as well. As I said, more than 200 uh, students and professionals I have trained till now. And I have given placements. I can say more than 20 students and professionals had given the placement as well. Placement in the sense after completion of this course, uh, somebody is trying to switch their career, mostly uh, tech support people, somebody's worked as a tech uh, support and they want to move their career as an IT. So I have trained them recently also in our last two batches. Um, one is happened on August and another one is October batch last year. All of them are, uh, some of them as a fresher, they joined as a fresher Oracle DBA and then they took the training and they settled very well in their projects. And as I said, some uh, people are working as a tech support. They already placed in IT as Oracle DBA. So they are also earning, like they are below 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs they used to earn after finishing of this course. And we placed them minimum, like they got one, one candidate got uh, placed in one of the MNC, he got 7 lakhs something. And another guy has been around 6.5 or 6.6 .6 something. So in, this is what like uh, Rats Infotech uh, looking for. Like we are not going to provide only the trainings and we are stick with the trainings. No, we are going to support uh, on job supports as well. And also interview oriented support. If somebody hardly trying like he, they, he or she learn the training and they're unable to clear the interview. Why? Because some of the people are having interview fearing and all, even though they are working, but they have some fear and all. For that uh, candidates or uh, professionals, we, we, we are ready to help. Okay, definitely we will uh, help them as part of the interview. What are all the questions and answers? How they need to prepare? So there is no proxy and all to be honest, I'm saying uh, directly, they can speak with that interview. They can take candidates are uh, going to take that interview, but we are helping them. Definitely they are going to 100% job oriented training. Okay, that's all about in the background. Why I'm trying to uh, taking more than two to three minutes to explain all these things. Few of them married uh, persons will be there, like my housewives will be there. They want to start their career. Definitely Oracle DBA will help them. Why? Because there is no coding and all. Here, uh, Rack Infotech, we are going to help them how to prepare the interview. First of all, they need to understand the Oracle DBA concepts. For that purpose only, I'm proposing each and every uh, candidate, those who want to learn or switch their career as Oracle DBA, first take the training. Then we will guide them how to uh, clear the interviews. After they clear the interview, once they got the job, then we will support them as a job support as well. We have dedicated WhatsApp groups is there. And also uh, we, I'll be available on WhatsApp if they faced any issues in a real time, I'll help them on that. For that, we used to charge separately for job support. 
for normal queries, one or two queries, if they have, we can do it free of cost, but they need a dedicated support for a couple of months. We will help them to get it. In lots of uh, students also, they are looking for the job opportunities last one year or one and a half year. They are learning something and then they are trying on that uh, technical skill set. For the students also, I'm uh, honestly saying this, learn Oracle DBA, we will place them within a six to seven months in IT jobs. Okay, guys, we'll, uh, as I said, I'll take definitely all the questions after 15 minutes. Give me uh, 10 to 15 minutes. I'll close uh, the cl course index. What are the topics we are going to clear? How we are going to teach? How we are going to uh, share the knowledge with you guys? Okay. Okay, guys. Oracle DBA is the, one of the best opportunity in the market right now. There is no issues for job security and other issues. Oracle DBA positions itself, we are getting very less compared to developers and other things. Once you got the job, you have 100% job security. At the same time, whatever you are learning as part of the training, the same thing, 70 to 80%, same thing you are working throughout your career. But we recommend it. You can keep on learning the new technologies. Then obviously you will increase like your uh, skill set and also your CTC. End of the day, anyone, like everyone is working for the money itself. We are not going for uh, doing trust and all, right? Uh, we are not going providing these things. First of all, we need to learn basics. Basics means whatever you are going to try, uh, teach Oracle DBA with rack training. Once this is done, definitely you will get a job. We will help you on it. After you join some other company or some companies, first six months you can settle down. Then seventh month or eighth month onwards, you can learn new technologies. OCI on cloud. How we are going to migrate, how we are going to support on cloud. So wherever uh, we have a cloud opportunity dba job is the same thing but only thing migration upgradations those only part is different so next 15 years we have a market there is no issue at all after 15 years we don't know right what is happening this but next 15 years i can say as a dba you will get job uh, security in the market okay who all can learn as i said Anyone can able to learn DBA easily. As I said, it is just a uh, non-coding uh, technology. DBA with rack. Everyone is afraid or uh, they have some fear. Rack, rack. I don't know rack. I'm uh, I'm working as a Oracle DBA. There is no issue at all. But only thing is you have to focusing on uh, what exactly mean by the rack. Real application cluster, right? What exactly mean by that? I can, after finishing of this course, you can confidently saying that, okay, this very, very easy. Why I'm not learning these many years or these many days, rack. Okay. Students, professionals, career gap uh, people can able to learn Oracle DBA within 30 hours, 30, three zero hours. If you want to learn rack extra, it may take like, another 10 to 15 hours is fine. So totally 45 hours to 50 hours, you can learn. After finishing of this 45 hours or 50 hours course, you can prepare or do the practice at least 90 hours or 90 days, I can say. Per day, one hour or two hours, you can do the lab. Next three months, you can practice thoroughly and prepare the interview questions. Damn sure you will get the job in the market, minimum 10 lakhs package. Okay, if you have an experience. If you are a fresher guy, uh, I can say it's the three to four lakhs, you can earn it. Some of the companies, they are going to pay only 2.4 lakhs, 2 lakhs, 1.8 lakh. That is different scenario. If you have an education gap and all, definitely you can worth it. Around 4 to 5 lakhs, you can get it. We can help you on that as well. Anyone can able to learn it. There is no prerequisites for Oracle DBA uh, learning. There is no prerequisites. Whatever we are going to uh, teach, we are teaching from the starting, from the beginning. A, B, C onwards, we are going to teach as part of uh, Oracle DBA training. Roles and responsibilities. As a DBA, DBA main database administrator. We are the admins for the database. What exactly mean by the database? Most of them aware of this, but I'm going to give the definition. Whatever the information, whatever I'm going to present here, this PPT, I'm going to store in my laptop. If something goes wrong in my laptop is crashed, how can I restore or get back my uh, this data okay or if i want to store this ppt in my system i need some storage and all right so this storage and all is maintained by this laptop and it's maintained by myself similar way in organizations whatever the data they have generated 
each and every data we are going to store in a specific database. That database should be on Windows or Oracle or other databases. So in the throughout the globe, more than 80 or 75 to 80% of the industries in the globe using Oracle database. So in this Oracle database, whatever the data we are going to store, how to install the database, how to maintain the database, and how to store the data, how to retrieve the data. All these activities are performed by the DBA. So our role is to install the database, maintain the database, and to perform any kind of upgradations or project activities. That is different scenario, we can talk about it. DBA role is to maintain the database properly. At any cost, the database should be up and running, and how to install, how to access, and how to maintain the database for 24 by 7 availability. Okay, that is our role. If you want to talk about more, we can uh, go ahead and uh, learn more roles and responsibilities. Even in my previous videos, I uh, posted those roles and responsibilities, but in this video, I'm going to dedicate it uh, high level steps only. As a DBA, our role is to install the database, maintain the database, and then upgrade the database. End of the day, we are going to secure the data. How we are going to do it, we will learn as part of our training. It's very easy, guys. How, I mean, if you are having laptop or if you are maintaining your mobile phone, you can easily maintain the database. Same mobile phone, how we are going to handle it, the database also we are going to handle in the same way. We have n number of applications in our mobile. Even though we have n number of mobile applications, we are handling each and every applications. Even if you have a WhatsApp, you have Outlook, or you, have, you are maintaining some games, you are maintaining some Amazon, Flipkart, or uh, social media apps, how you are going to maintain, that is very difficult to maintain. Even I'm not aware uh, how to use the mobile and all. But if you know how to manage the mobile with the different, different applications to store the data securely in your mobile, you can easily maintain your database. As a DBA, you can do your roles and responsibilities very easily. Prerequisites, as I said, uh, basic things, Linux, commands and all, it is required, but it is not, um, as I said, there is no prerequisites for this course. I will teach you hardly 20 to 30 commands will be there, LS, single word commands, Linux command, LS, PS, PS hyphen F few commands, simple, simple commands will be there. Those also, we have a boundary, 15 to 20 commands. If you want to get more knowledge, you want to learn more on Linux commands, hardly 50 to 100 commands. But four to five years experience, if you want to start your career, around 20 to 30 commands is fine, more than enough. Daily, we, we are not going to use more than 10 or 15 comments in our day-to-day -day, uh, job as a DBA. Okay, that is different scenario. Prerequisites, only Linux uh, basics and uh, SQLs. What is select query? What is DML? What is DDL? That is basic things we can teach you those as well. But to be honest, anyone can able to start their career right away. Right, uh, this, I mean, uh, the moment... When we start the course, you can directly log uh, register for the course and you can start learning. There is no specific prerequisites and all. Architecture part and all, uh, we can go ahead and learn as part of that, uh, our uh, classes, regular classes and all. It's very easy. I can uh, start from the architecture. Like if you are understanding the architecture, you can easily learn the complete, uh, like 30 to 40% of the DBA, you can uh, complete the course if you understand the architecture. But I'll explain how to understand the architecture from where you need to start and how to remember how to uh, learn the architecture properly. I will teach you around five to seven classes I will take for only architecture. Only architecture, five to seven classes I will take. You can understand in that way how we are going to elaborate like from each and every part I'm going to explain uh, in a simple manner. Okay, course indexes. See here, 12C and 19C architectures. Why? Because in um, even though we have in it's a 12C cloud uh, related thing and 19C also cloud, C means cloud. In 12C and 19C, we have lot of changes. New features have been introduced by the Oracle. And we have older versions also, but I'll explain most of the 12C and 19C architecture differences and CDB, PDB models. Without CDB and PDB, how our database architecture will be there. I'll explain clearly that. And also I'm going to take it uh, another level of architecture for simple manner. 
architecture i can divide it into three parts single architecture i can divide it into three parts first part second part third or three parts will be connected each other so so that you can easily understand the architecture roles and responsibilities definitely as i said i'll take uh, half an hour to uh, around half an hour to 40 minutes i'll take our uh, roles and responsibilities in depth roles and responsibilities as a dba and the required tools and prerequisites as i said each and every uh, professionals in their in their uh, technical skill set they need certain kind of tools to work their tasks as a dba what are all the tools we need to use we need putty session we need uh, mobile xterm or putty session we need some other tools win sap we required sql developer we required why we need the, all those tools we have around five to six tools is there why we need how we are going to use those tools that is very easy once you get a job and once you are placed in a project uh, without any confusion you directly ask them i don't have this tool could you please install in my machine then they can understand okay this guy is having much knowledge on this part in that way i can explain those tools also prerequisites as i said dml ddl commands what is mean by the ddl and dml basic sql commands what is select query what is insert query what is update query why because in a database how to insert the data normally in your mobile you are going to uh, text in your friends how you are going to chat I mean chat with your friends how you are going to chat like you you are going to open one whatsapp uh, uh, app and then you are going to select your friend uh, contact or groups then you are going to text it same way in a database how to insert the data and how to get the data whatever the data you inserted into the database you have to as and when it is required you need to fetch the data right how you are going to fetch so those are all the basic things those are the sql commands select query insert query update query those are the basics okay those i'll take it up and i'll explain clearly those things as well virtual box linux operating system and database installations here uh, in real time also this virtual box and linux operating system we are using linux operating system for our uh, database installation same oracle database we can install in different operating systems on windows we can install our db2 uh, operating system ibm uh, db2 operating system solaris is operating system linux operating system so uh, uh, there are a number of operating systems will be there there our database is compatible oracle database software is compatible with multiple operating systems but in our lab on in the real time organizations also in the real time world most of the organizations are using linux flavor operating systems very few of them are using windows and ibm ax aix operating systems so in our uh, training session we are using operating system linux latest versions virtual box is uh, nothing but the machines where you are going to install your uh, operating system and then where you are going to install your database software why because if i want to present this i have installed my zoom app i have uh, taken this uh, microsoft license also to present this one so all these things has been worked with my operating system if i don't have uh, windows operating system in my laptop i cannot able to install any other applications like i cannot access my laptop properly right that's where without this linux operating system we cannot not only linux without operating system i can say without operating system we cannot install any database software any other applications same thing in your laptop without operating system windows operating system it could be an, a linux operating system okay in my machine machine means one pc one laptop you one mobile also we can it as a machine okay in the machine without operating system we cannot do anything single machine is supported by single operating system that's where we are going to use virtual box this virtual box support us multiple systems like if i can create one new machine there i can install another operating system here microsoft windows is there right i can install any one of that mac os i can install soralis i can install so if you want to install multiple operating systems in a single machine we required virtual box okay not this is one kind of software we have so many other softwares is there to install your uh, like to configure your machines but i am using oracle virtual box for our lab practice in real time world they can use virtual boxes different different third party tools as well only you you can understand like you you need to understand only virtual boxes is useful for to install your multiple machines to create multiple machines in a server 
okay server means you can take example laptop in my case it is my laptop one machine with hardware and software we call it as machine okay i'll clearly uh, go with these things and then i'll explain how to install operating system these two parts are not dba task but in our lab session we are going to learn these two things as well our uh, as a dba our role is to install only database software to maintain the database but here we don't have any linux or virtual storage management or extra network team we are going to manage these things okay our job is only to install and manage the database how to connect once you have installed the database in a real time once you join any one of the project you will not directly get the, this opportunity to install the software and all everything is existing in one there you need to start your work as a supporting the database servers and all how to start how to connect okay how to stop and start the databases how to find how many database servers is there in that single machine everything you required i'll explain those topics here and user management once you have a database server this i have my laptop if i want to connect this laptop i need one user id and password if you want to create more than one user we can able to create users in my laptop right two users three users we can create similar way we can manage users in our database whatever the software we install we need to create the users like in a company we have n number of people will be there each and every one whatever their job is there they want to write some data they want to write or read some data from the database right if they want to write or read the data from the database they need an access right that access we call it as a user management what kind of users we need to create what kind of employee is a normal employee or manager or director or executive uh, other ceo or other what kind of role is having what kind of profile is having so these things we are going to manage in our database if you understand the definition like why we need to manage the users what kind of users we are having how many users we are having in the database so all those things we can cover clearly okay then whatever the users we have created they need certain kind of storage right to manage like if you have a laptop in your laptop you have c drive d drive how many drives you want to create you can create it you need certain kind of storage to store your images videos audios anything right you need some 500 gb 1 terabyte storage similar way in our database we required storage to maintain all the users data users information everything if you want to store maintain you need a storage how we are going to manage that storage okay how we are going to manage the storage that we can talk uh, talk about one specific topic how to add a storage okay how to monitor the storage how much is utilized how much is free so how much we are going to add so that we can maintain as a table space management backup and recovery it's very very important simple example in your mobile you have all the photos and all everything is there in your mobile uh, storage you can say you have 60 gb of uh, storage in your mobile ram is 4 gb so 60 gb is completely occupied now your mobile is not able to uh, open or your mobile not able to store or take a pic also if you want to take on selfie that photo will not take why because your storage is filled right you want to store whatever the information in your phone you have to pick those and you have to store in other device wherever you have a free space right so in, in our in that case we are going to use our laptop whatever the photos we have those photos we are going to store in our laptop why we are going to maintain our storage is filled up right okay sorry we have only 10 minutes left okay so in that way the backup and recovery scenario in our database whatever the information we have that information we should take on daily basis backup as and when our database is crashed our database has been any issues that backup you can use and our database we can restore it okay guys and then patching patching things and cloning cloning means identical copy of our database okay i'll tell you those things as well patching concept means if any issues happen in your database simple uh, you are the, we are a human being if you having some sick if you are sick we need to take it's a cold or fever or other issues according to our issue we are going to take a medic medicine right same thing in our database if any issues happen oracle is going to provide some kind of fixes those fixes we call it as a patching okay cloning what we are using the production database we are having one database as a production this is our one single database it's our production production means live data 
whatever the information is uh, in the business is running, business information is maintained by the production. If any issues happen in your production, if you want to apply the patch or if you want to fix that issue in production, due to that, your production might be corrupted. It may generate another issue. For that purpose, we should not apply any fixes directly on the production. For that purpose, we are copying our production data as it is to another database server. That process we call it as a clone. Okay, how we are going to do the clone and all, we will discuss that. Performance tuning. That's a simple thing and also it's a, if you think it's a very huge, it's a huge. If you are thinking it's a very simple, it's a simple thing. If any issues in your uh, database is hanging, database is slow, how to manage our databases, how to improve our database uh, fastest access, okay? That tools we are having, by using these tools, we can manage our databases. ASM for storage and uh, data guard for high availability. Uh, I can say medium availability, disaster recovery purpose. If anything goes wrong in your production database is crashed, same time business need another database should be available. And for that purpose, we are going to configure standby database in other uh, data center. This concept, we call it as a DR or data guard configuration. Okay, database upgrade from 12C to 19C or 19C to 21C. Any one of that upgrade process I'll show you. I'll explain the previous upgrades. And if you want, I'll go ahead and take two upgrade process as well. That is very easy. Frequently asked entry questions and CV preparation, real-time scenarios. Whatever topic we are going to discuss, definitely I'll uh, go ahead with a real-time. Whatever I face the issues, whatever my colleagues face that issues, I'll discuss those things. And uh, as part of the rack, we are going to cover in nine modules. Guys, there is no much difference for standalone database DBA activities and rack database DBA activities. We have many few, few uh, differences only. Managing the database servers uh, that we will discuss as well. Okay. If in a standalone database means we are having, if it is a database server, server it is only having storage memory. We need to install first operating system. On top of that, we are going to install database software. Okay, DB software, that's it. It's a standalone without rack. In case of rack database, you need minimum two nodes, means two servers. In this server, we need to install operating system. Here also we need to install operating system. On top of this, we need to install the cluster software, cluster. Cluster we need to install. On top of that, we are going to install the database software, DB software. So we have an extra layer in rack, real application cluster. We have an extra layer. How we are going to manage these things? How to install this cluster? How to stop? How to start? Okay. If you want to stop, first we need to stop this one. And then we need to stop this one. If you want to start, you need to start from cluster and then database. Generally, if you start by using SRV CTL things, uh, this database we are going to maintain with SRV CTL and uh, this cluster is maintained by the CRS CTL utility. Okay, only difference is cluster software is there and also we need another node. Even somebody will ask, can I use a single node rack? You can use it, but there is no issue. Like there is no use. Why you want to go for a single node rack? High availability if you required, two instances will be there. Performance will be improved. A lot of uh, uh, availability and also performance. Business will be useful. Like business, uh, they will run very uh, easily, easy manner without any issues and all. If you are using standalone database, uh, you don't have any cluster binaries and all, you directly start and stop the DB. It's a start down startup commands, okay? Even you can use the shutdown startup commands here, but that is not recommended, why? Because we can discuss as part of the course. Only difference is cluster software and two nodes is required for the rack. Single node also we can use, but there is no issue. And the cost wise, it's very, very cheap compared to the rack. To maintain this cluster software and other things, cost, License cost is very high, okay? That is only one thing. So we are going to learn about the rack architecture, complete rack architecture, and how to install the rack. I have uh, those machines in my uh, lab. Here I have two node rack. These two are my rack, and this is my standalone database, and these two are my data guard, primary DB and standby. This is my 12C database. All these servers are 19C, only this one is 12C, okay? I can say, uh, as part of demo, I need to give a uh, few informations as well. Uh, 19C is the long-term support, okay? Around uh, 2027, around 20, 
2030 also it is going to extend uh, support. So next six to seven years, we are having the support. And 23C also their next version. They are yet to release for production uh, thing. 23C is there in the market. Oracle database 23C version is there. For development purpose, we are using. For production uses, mostly by end of this quarter, they are going to release. That is long-term support as well. Okay. Keep on Oracle is going to uh, release the latest versions. There is no much difference, but yeah, they are going to add. If you are going to add, release a new version, there could be some features they are going to add it. But 19C is the uh, familiar and right now most of the organizations they are using Oracle 19C database versions. Rack, we are going to cover complete rack architecture. And also in a rack, how we are going to add a node, delete a node, and how we are going to shut down on startup, how we are going to patch the rack nodes, like rolling fashion without complete downtime. One node at a time, we are going to apply the patch. Second node will be available. That we can see it. And backup recovery is similar way how we are going to do in our standalone. We are going to do that, including also most of the 90% steps will be the same. Only 10% changes will be there. The cloning process, that also we can see. Troubleshootings and patching, upgrade process. Almost all same won't be uh, difference. There is no much difference. Only cluster where we are going to see it. Okay. That's all about our course. The course uh, original training, we are going to start from the 15th Jan this month, 7.45 a.m. next to Monday, next to next, tomorrow is Monday, right? Next Monday, 15th Jan, we are going to start. Every day, one hour, 50 hours, uh, we are going to conduct this training. Yeah, if you have any queries, I'm ready to take. Guys, do we have any queries, like any fees related things? Fee we are going to charge for 20K for complete course, Oracle DBA with React. Okay, I think I, if anyone interested to join this uh, training, reach out to this number. We 9392634 WhatsApp number is there, or else you can send me a mail to racksinfotech at gmail.com. Resume preparation, definitely I'll do it. I'll help you on it, how to prepare. It's very, very important. Otherwise, if your resume is not clear, you will not get a calls, interview calls. So I'll help you how to prepare the resume as well. Also, I'll help you to uh, give some of the interview questions as well. I'll take mock interviews also. After end of this uh, course, I'll take mock interviews for each and every one. Um, hello, is the class gonna be in English? Yes, it is in English. Thank you. Yeah. So we are going to uh, teach from the basics, like how to configure the server, from the server configuration wise, and then how to install the software and how to connect everything we are going to teach it. Definitely we are going to learn from, I mean teach you how to install the operating system and how to install the database. I'll show you and I'll share the document also. And we have recorded videos. Okay, I have this social media. We have this Racks Infotech, our channel. Uh, if you are not going to, I mean you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe. And also we 